Well, I think one of the common features of all universities is the, the fact that we undertake research with the intent to create new knowledge mm -hmm. and disseminate that new knowledge. So publication is really an important part of what a research university does. So Alex, could you talk for a minute about how, um, how publication is affected by intellectual property clauses in research agreements? Well, I agree that publication is the primary purpose to create knowledge and disseminate it. Most universities would, I would, would think say that's, that's their the, primary mission. That's so the prim also that the primary form of technology that. transfer. Exactly. Right. Absolutely. The, the issue is, and bottom line it is, if you don't own it, you can't use it. So if you give away the copyright of something that you've created um, and you don't have any, you don't reserve a license within the contract, they will not be able to publish, they can't copy it, they can't distribute it. All the rights that are uh, provided under a copyright um, owner is gone. So you really have to be careful and if, if you, un under the rare circumstances where you might um, provide the, um, allow copyright to be transferred to a sponsor, which we don't usually recommend, um, you would need to retain a license to at least be able to publish it because otherwise it, it would affect adversely your publication rights.